Hello, Michael J. Brown here, and I wanted to do a honest review on a new guitar I picked up over the holiday season. Hopefully everyone got what they were wanting for Christmas and for the, the season. But uh, yeah, I was fortunate enough to pick up one of these Epiphone Firebirds. This is a guitar that if you were looking for one last year, you probably found that they were out just about everywhere you went. And I finally did find one um, by the end of the year. I think I, I ordered this in uh, early December. And I got the olive drab green, they call it, which to my surprise was um, very pleasant. <laughs> I like the color, it's different. It kind of reminds me of my days in the army. But uh, anyway, I was looking for one of the, um, the sunburst ones, but they seem to be out everywhere. And when I first got this one at uh, American Music Supply, they had the, this olive drab green in, so I went ahead and ordered it. Anyway, I wanted to do a quick review on it because uh, if you looked at a lot of the reviews out there, you've probably seen a lot of them that are really good and uh, everyone's really given it a lot of high praise and everything. And when I got it out of the box, I'll upload a video of when I unboxed it, but basically I only had to do a couple things to it. This guitar here has a bridge that you can adjust with two screws. So it was very easy to lower the action, which was the first thing I did. And the second thing I did was the pickups were pretty high, which on most new guitars, they are gonna be fairly high. So I went ahead and lowered the pickups and um, tried to get some of the brightness out of it because that was really, that's my really, my biggest complaint about it is um, the pickups are a little too bright for what I like. This is with the, uh, the bass pickup or the, the neck pickup. And I keep the, the volume is down um, on about nine or eight and a half. And the tone, I, I have to turn the tone just about all the way down. This is on, there's not really a marker, but when I'm looking at it, it's on about three and a half or four. <laughs> sounds pretty bright the way it is so I'll go ahead and crank the volume up a little bit I am playing this through my Fender GTX 100 amp and I have um, different settings that I use for my regular uh, my Fender that I got last year and I'll show you the difference here in just a minute but this one um, was so much brighter that I had to really kind of go in and set up some settings just for it that weren't so bright sounding uh, but I wanted to give you a good comparison today because this is a review on this guitar and what I think that I may have to do to get it to sound the way I want it. And I don't know if you're just in the same boat as me, but... <laughs> clean setting. See those high strings sound kind of tinny on that particular setting. And I thought maybe I had them too low and I kind of played around with the bridges a little bit or with the pickups a little bit and uh, tried to lower them so I didn't get that brightness out of them so much. But again, this is on the neck pickup, which is the bass or pickup. It has a real nice sound. treble up to get those to come up more. I keep them down, like I said, fairly low. 
This is a Up, I have the, the tone turned up to the treble side more. On the bass pickup, I don't. And uh, but that sounds way too tinny for me. Turn those pickups up a little. pickup on the bridge pickup. It's got a nice country twang to it, but again, I, I, for me, I'm probably never going to use the bridge pickup by itself. It's just not the sound I'm after. Let me go to a little distortion here. <laughs> That's basically the way it's sounded now. I'm going to give you a little comparison to my Strat and uh, show you the difference in tone. I'm going to use the same settings on my amp. Okay, so this is uh, a Fender Stratocaster. It's a performer uh, made in Corona, California. It is American made. It's uh, one of the a little less expensive. It was about $1,100 retail. I was going to do a review on this guitar at one point, but I never quite got around to it. But I've really enjoyed this guitar. It's turn the volume up a little bit here to match. And you can hear immediately, this is on the, the, the neck pickup. And here's the uh, mixture. I'm not exactly 100% sure where all these settings go, but they add a little blend. And this one here is more the more twangier pickup. Anyway, it uh, gives you a, a pretty good idea there of the difference in tone. I'll go back to one of the other. Much more blended. This one, I keep the, the 
treble control, the tone control down just like just a couple. Here's full on 10. I'll turn it down to about eight or eight, seven and a half. <laughs> Kettle button. Anyway, back to the loud one. phase the last um, pickups on it here at the bridge by going all the way down. I'll put it back on this one. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to do with the, uh, the Firebird is I'm going to have to end up replacing the pickups is what I'll probably end up doing. So anyway, that's my honest review. It's, it's a great guitar for the money. $599. You got a government check, hopefully for $600. It's a good investment, good spend. But uh, there is some things I'll have to do to get it to weigh the sound that I want it to sound. Anyway, thanks for your time. Remember to uh, subscribe to the channel and like this video if it, if it helped you. Thanks again. Bye.